Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to share with you a couple of favorites. So I have some stuff that I know I've talked about in the past, but I have some stuff that is newer to me and I'm just going to share my favorites with you guys. So if you are curious, please stay tuned. Thank you, thank you. Hey, if you are new to my channel, you just happened upon my channel, I would really love it if you would subscribe. And if you've been watching my videos and haven't yet hit that subscribe button, please do so. It'll help my channel a lot. You know, having people watch the videos, even if it's not a ton of people watching the videos, every view counts. And of course, every subscriber as well. So Thank you all so much for helping to support the channel. I appreciate it so very, very much. So favorites. This is not going to be a surprise because this is one of the favorites that I've had for, what, since 2016, and that is my collagen. So I buy it in the very big, I think it probably was my last favorites as well. I buy it in the eight pound bag. Yes, so Jay and I use this. Um, we take two tablespoons every morning each and two tablespoons at night as well. So buying it in the big eight pound bag helps a lot. Now, I'm a creature of habit, right? I mean, there are many other collagen supplements out there. You can use whatever you want, but obviously I, I really like this. This is Great Lakes. It does not have a taste to me. It has some collagen, it had a lot of um, collagen in it, peptides. It's not full of all sorts of other additives or fillers or anything of that nature. I really like it. It's unflavored. And to me, that is the most important part that it is unflavored because I don't taste it. I can put it in a smoothie. I can put it in my yogurt. Um, I can put it in my coffee. Usually it's in my morning coffee and then in the afternoon or in the evening if I'm going to have a yogurt or whatever I have for dinner, sometimes I put it in there as well. I can also drink it with just water, but I don't. So collagen. I think if you are on an aging gracefully or anti-aging bandwagon at all, then collagen has to be in your routine and it has to be something you do consistently. I take, like I say, I am so consistent with my collagen. I've been doing it since 2016. I'm, I'm 16, 69 years old. I didn't start to take care of my skin until I was in my 60s. So to me, it was like, man, I got a lot of catching up to do. So I'm very, very consistent with that. The, um, the other thing that's my favorite, this may or may not be a surprise to you, but I've talked about this is Candy Way. This is their external glow MD face mask. Now, I know you've seen a ton of different face masks out there. I just turned it on um, that people talk about. I, I'll tell you, I've used this now. Um, it's been a month and a half, almost two months. I'd have to really look it up. But I have this by my bedside. So when I get up in the morning, I put this on and I just... I don't even have to strap it on. I lay it on my face, plug, you know, turn it on for 10 minutes. Then I move it down to my neck because I'm trying to do my neck and I try to do my hands. I wish they would come up with something for the neck. I know other, other uh, face masks do, but I just really love this company. They are a small company. I, just, I love everything about this company. So um, I'm, I'm waiting for them to come out with it. I've used this four to five times a week since I received it and I've charged it one time. So it holds a charge depending on how often you use it, of course. On my second month, when I started to add in my neck and my decolletage and my hands, I've been watching it. I'm going to have to charge it, all right? It's not gonna go the entire month for no charge using it the amount of, you know, because I'm basically doing uh, 30 minutes a day, 10 on my face, 10 on my neck and chest, and then on my hands. So, you know, it stands to reason. But the charging goes pretty quick. You can see the little lines light up when it tells you you need to charge it. And when the lines are all full, you know, you know it's all charged and you're all set, ready to go. It plugs in. It's easy to keep clean and it's super easy 
carrying case, which I really, really like. I went camping. I brought it camping. And Jay was like cracking up because he was saying, well, people are going to see this red light through the camper window. <laughs> I wasn't worried about it. Nobody saw anything through the camper window. But I, I brought it camping because I really like it. I think that it complements everything I've been doing for my skin. And I think even in the short period of time that I have been using it, that I have seen a difference. I've seen a difference. I put my makeup on with a magnifying, you know, 10 by whatever magnifying mirror. I check my skin with that mirror as well. And I see a difference in my skin. Now, I believe that the, I've always believed in red light therapy, but I believe the red light therapy complements my collagen, complements everything else I'm doing for my skin. It, it complements it. It makes it work better. And when I'm done, when I get up in the morning after I've done it, because like I keep this at my bedside. So I usually get up, go to the restroom. Sometimes I just throw a little bit of water on my face and then dry it off and go right back to bed. And when I do that, I just pick it up and I put it on. And I, sometimes I fall asleep. Sometimes not and I move it. But then when I get up for the day and I do, you know, a light wash, I don't usually have to really wash my skin in the morning. I might rinse it off. I might do a toner or whatever, but that's about it. I really monitor my skin and I believe that even my scar, because I'm going on one year anniversary for my Mohs surgery on my face, so I have to do an update on that, but my one year anniversary for my Mohs surgery is coming up and I really think that I'm still using certain products for that, but I really think that the red light therapy is is um, facilitating the healing process or making that scar look better than it has in, you know, in a long time. So without a doubt, my red light therapy mask from Candyway, thank you so much Candyway, is in my favorites. It is, it is something that I will continue to use, that I love to use. Um, and I will get the neck if they come out with that. I'll get something for the hand. It would just be a little bit more convenient, less timely if you can do all three of your body parts at the same time or whatever. I would also like to use it more on my hair. I've put it on my hair a couple of times, just pulled it up on my hair a couple of times. So um, that's going to bring me to my next favorite. My next favorite is a prescription. And it is Finasteride. It's F I N A S T. E-R-R-I-D-E. -E. I have five milligrams. This is what I've been using for my hair. I've talked about this a couple of times. It is my favorites. Um, it is in my favorites because I believe it makes a huge difference uh, for my hair. Um, I have not, I have not gone without wearing a topper as, as much as I've gone this last two months. I started using this on my birthday, February 14th, and it, it works for me. So that is definitely in my group of favorites. The other, the other thing, and I don't always talk about. Um, oh, and I didn't bring it in. I was gonna, I was gonna talk about this product that I buy. It's, a, it's called Awesome, and Awesome is a spray cleanser. Right now, I sprayed Awesome. I have a face, a mask, an eye mask that I wear, a heated electric eye mask that I put on, and and it needed to be washed. So. I took it apart and I sprayed it with the awesome and I just let it sit there and almost immediately I could see a cl a how clean it was coming. So awesome, that product, I get it at like a Dollar Tree store. It's like, a, it's like 99 cents, right? And I buy it. I probably, when I go to a dollar store or a Dollar Tree or wherever it is, I always look for awesome. It's yellow. Um, you can get with the spray or without the spray. I buy the refill size now and it is an awesome, awesome cleanser. It really is. I should go get it. I'm going to go get it. So I'm going to have to cut out the uh, gap, but this is what it is. It is LA's totally awesome. This is what it looks like. 99 cents in my Dollar Tree here in New Hampshire. We have no tax, so it is 99 cents in my Dollar Tree. I've seen it as high as like a buck 50 and other stores, but I usually go to the dollar store and I get it. This stuff is awesome. I spray, that's why it's called awesome, LA awesome. I spray it um, on a stain, like one time I had a 
we had gone out to dinner and I had this peach, peach colored color top on. It was really pretty and it was new. And I somehow spilled, I don't know what it was, something to do with my fish. It was oily on my top. And I said, oh my God, this is a brand new top. It's gonna be gone. I'm not gonna, whatever. And I came home, I took the top off. I sprayed awesome on it. I let it sit. That stinking stain came out. I couldn't believe it. I was so, so happy. So awesome, definitely. Other thing that has been my favorite this month, this video is gonna be super long, is I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I had gone to Trader Joe's, and I go to Trader Joe's because I look for the sunblock for my face. They have a super goop dupe, and it's super cheap if you can get it at Trader Joe's, but they, I don't have a Trader Joe's near me, so I only go visit Trader Joe's when I'm working in our Bedford office or if I'm up in Portsmouth, which is not that often. But when I went to Trader Joe's, they didn't have this super goop dupe sunblock that I wanted for my face, but I got the body butter. I think I talked about the body butter and I talked about getting the spray on uh, sunblock. I really like this. It's a Trader Joe's spray sunscreen is what it's called. Broad spectrum SPF 50. It's water resistance up to, what is it? 80 minutes. Really good, good stuff. And very, very affordable. I can't remember if this was seven bucks or something like that. Very, very affordable. I really like it. I, I took it with me camping. It's usually in my motorhome. I like that you can spray sunblock when, when you use the spray, you can get the back side of you that unless you have someone with you, you're not going to get covered. But this, I really, really like it. And <laughs> Trader Joe's, yeah, they, they have some really awesome products. As does Aldi's, by the way. If you go to Aldi's, check out what they have. But anyways, this made my favorites. I really like it. If you have a Trader Joe's, check it out. Also my favorites, not gonna be a surprise, my Petite and Pretty. This is my mascara. I love this stuff. Now, yes, it's a kid's mascara, but it works really nice. Let me show you this. I just got a mascara sent to me not too long ago and I'm filming this. You're gonna see this probably a week or two after I film it, but from City Beauty, I have not tried it. I wanna see how it compares to my Petite and Pretty and my Essence because my Petite and Pretty and my Essence are my two favorite mascaras. So Petite and Pretty made my favorites. Here's my replacement for it. I love it. I set myself up to be on auto ship for that so that I would, I would get it all the time. I also mentioned that I had bought some more of the glass nail files. And I used to always use emery boards. I love the glass nail files. I love them. Now they are, they probably do get dull after a while, but I ended up buying myself another set and it usually comes in two, you've got a bigger one, of course I like the purple, and a smaller one. And then you have one that you can push your cuticles back with, a little round, if I can get it out, a little round glass that you can kind of push your cuticles back with it. I love these glass files. They, they, I think they are probably, even though my nails are pretty bad right now because of all the heavy duty cleaning that I've been doing and all the stuff down at my mom's house, they really, I think, treat your nails nicely and make, make them so that when you're filing them, you're not causing further damage. And that to me, I think is super important. I had received um, complimentary, whoops, from Dossier. I know many of you know about Dossier. They, they, have, um, they have all sorts of different perfumes and some of them are dupes for very well-known perfumes. Anyways, they had sent me a few to try, and I, I don't often, I should always remember to mention it because it, it's super affordable, and the, the scents, if you can find the scent that you like to wear, if you can find it in their line, which most likely you will, you will be surprised at how good it smells. So, so I took this camping with me, and I ended up um, getting so many compliments. Camping, right? Oh, what's that smell? What, what, what perfume are you wearing, etc. 
So I love it. It's affordable and easy to travel with. Put it right in my RV and the, the scent stays. It doesn't, you know, you put it on. Hours later, you can still smell some of it. You know how sometimes you put a perfume on and an hour later you don't smell anything, it's all gone? No, this has staying power and it's not overpowering, at least not the scents that I've used. They are, they're, it's like the right combination. It's absolutely perfect, absolutely perfect. <clears throat> and that brings me to the Bilt Bars. Um, I don't know if I have a coupon for Bilt Bars anymore. They used to send me stuff. I haven't gotten anything from Bilt Bars in a long time. I love Bilt Bars. They're they're expensive, um, but they they don't they don't mess with me. You know, when I when I eat a Bilt Bar, I actually do feel full. I love a lot of their different flavors, and they don't cause me to have any kind of a stomach upset or anything of that nature. They came up with Built Bar Puffs, which is if you like marshmallow, you'll like a puff. And I fell in love with the Built Bar Puffs. I've tried many different uh, flavors. So I was absolutely ecstatic when in my Sam's Club in New Hampshire, I found Built Bar's Puffs. And this is a 12 pack gluten free um, for anyone that's on a gluten free diet, right? And this is brownie batter puffs and the curio puffs. It's a multi-pack. And, and I found it, it's cheaper for me to buy it there than it would be to order it even with my discount and pay shipping. So, um, yeah, built bars, puff bars. I found them in my Sam's Club. I don't know that they're gonna be in every Sam's Club because when Jay and I went camping, and we were up in Maine, we went to Sam's Club up there and they did not have any. I was looking to see if they had some, they did not have any and it was, I was like, okay, so it's not gonna be in every Sam's Club. But um, the other favorites that I have is I love, and it's not my Apple earbuds are not my favorites. I mean, they're, they're, you know, they're perfect for what I do, but I absolutely love listening to audiobooks. So I have an audiobook account. I. I don't have any kind of affiliation code or any discount code or anything like that. I'm just mentioning audiobooks. I love listening to audiobooks and podcasts. And I will do, I will listen when I'm driving. I will listen when I'm walking. I'll listen a lot. And I use my earbuds uh, to listen wireless. And right now I'm listening in audiobooks. I've got a, uh, a book that I'm listening to, which is probably not going to be anything super exciting for anyone. I do listen to a lot of true crime, but the one that I'm listening to now is a, it's a historical book. It's called The Brothers York. It's a history about the York brothers. They were, one was king, king of, well, two of them actually were kings of England way back in the day. So the, the York and the Lancasters, the royal family disputes that they had with each other. And this talks about Edward when, uh, you know, when he became the king and he married Elizabeth and then his brothers, the Duke Clarence and, um, you know, his two brothers and Richard, of course, ultimately his brother Richard also became king. So it's the history from of that era. And I am really enjoying it. It's written by someone named Thomas Penn. Uh, I've never heard of this person, but I'm sure he's done tons of different books. It's an audio book. I just really love listening to this stuff. Now, I still have 14 hours and 54 minutes of listening left. <laughs> Can you believe it? And I've listened to um, 25 hours of it. Yeah. So you can see I listen and multitask and do other things. So my audiobook uh, subscription has been an ultimate favorite of mine. I'm so glad I have it. If I didn't have it, I would be listening to a whole lot more podcasts probably, but I do listen to a lot of podcasts. I'm back in the groove, you know, as much as possible. So trying to record and trying to listen to audio books and trying to, you know, listen and catch up on my YouTube videos and all that stuff. So monthly favorite for sure. I had purchased this mirror. This will be my last thing I'm going to talk about. I had purchased this mirror. I don't know when it was now. I really liked this mirror. I, it's a compact. One side is 10 times magnified. The other one is normal, right? So if I look in the 10 time magnified, I can see you know, pretty well every line, every nook and cranny. If I look in the regular one, you know, see just sort of, oh yeah, normal type thing. But I really love it. It's, it lights up and everything. 
I bought it. It's got a couple of different modes for the light. So you, you can have a brighter light, a duller light. You know, it's, it's really nice. I bought this for traveling because I find sometimes, you know, during the day, I want to take a look and, and fix something. And I need that magnifying glass, you know, with me, that mirror. So I found this compact to be awesome. I've used it more and more and more, especially this last month because I've been gone a lot, been down my mother's, been doing this, been doing that. So this, the one I have is Noya, N-U-O-Y-A. And I got it off of Amazon. I love it. So this definitely is hit a favorite. So after this, I think I'm going to probably try to um, do a video update on my Mohs surgery because it's going to be one year and just talk about that. I've had a couple of requests to do another look at my skincare, but you know, I really haven't changed a whole lot. Um, I mean, I've added some stuff, but I really haven't changed a whole lot. So we'll see. But thank you so much for watching my favorites. If you're new here again, welcome to my channel. Please make sure you subscribe. And for all of you, my friends that watch all my videos, I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you all so much. You guys have a wonderful day or weekend. I don't even know when this is going to go live, but you have a wonderful rest of your day and rest of your week. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.